Graphing lines, lecture number eight. Graphing lines using x and y intercepts. OK, in this example, we're going to find the x and y intercepts of the line 3x plus 4y equals 12, and use these intercepts to graph the line. Now, you have to remember, to find the x-intercept, we set y to 0. To find the y-intercept, we set x to 0. So if you're going to find an intercept, you always set the other variable to 0. That's how you remember. It's the, you set the other one. So to find the x-intercept, I'm going to set y to 0. So I'm going to go 3. Well, I've got to get a better color. Let me get a better color. There we go. I'm going to go 3x, OK, um, plus 4 times 0. I'm setting y to 0, aren't I? OK. And that equals 12. Of course, this term just goes away, and I find that I divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 4. Now, when I actually write my intercepts, I write them as an ordered pair. Where what did I say? I set y to 0, right? So y, the y coordinate is 0 over here. And the x-coordinate is 4. So that's my x-intercept. Now to find my y-intercept, if I can get up here a little bit, to find my y-intercept, we set x to 0. So I do the same equation, but I put 0 in for x. So I write 3 times 0, OK, plus 4y equals uh, 12. OK. So this, of course, term is 0. And this one is uh, 4y uh, equals 12. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And I get y equals 3. And again, I write this as an ordered pair. And I would write this, of course, what am I setting? Uh, x is 0 this time, right? And y, of course, is 3. There we go. So now to graph this, I merely plot these two points. I can call this, if I want, I can call this point 1, and I can call this point 2. And if you have two points, you have a line. So point 1 is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0. So you don't move up or down. There's the one point. Point 2 is x is 0, and y is 1, 2, 3, like that. And I'll get my line function, because that's so much better. Let's see, you think that's about right? Yeah, I think I'll go through them. That's not too bad. Something like that, OK? And there's my line that goes through the two points. 